Hello people, my name is Laina de Carvalho Schweik Adami. I'm one of the authors of this chapter. I'm a master and PhD from the University of Mato Grosso do Sul. And I came here to explain a little bit of skin grafts and skin flaps, detail and their complications. So, let's go! Plastic surgery is based on grafts and flaps. All procedures performed by the surgeries are based on it. The skin or cutaneous integument is an organ with important functions. Chemical, production vitamin D, biological, being the protection against the harmful sunbeams and controlling the thermal regulation of our body during different situations. The skin is one of the most organ, largest organs of our body and is divided in three layers, epidermis, dermis and hypodermis. The epidermis is the most superficial layer, being rich in collagen and elastic fibers responsible for promoting contraction and extension of the skin. The dermis, thicker and deeper, is the middle layer of the skin, is formed by collagen, elastin and collagen fibers, which provide tonicity and elasticity in addition to blood vessels and nervous endings. Also in this layer, have hair follicles, sensory nerves, sebaceous glands, and sweat glands. Also in this layer, have some termination nerves that can uh, capture the external stimulus, like uh, cold, heat, vibration, pressure, and this uh, transform this in information for our body. The hypodermis is the deepest layer of the skin and is basically made of fat cells, skin appendages, nerves, and vessels. As a result, its thickness is quite variable in different regions of the body and between people. The hypodermis supports a connection of the epidermis and dermis with the rest of the organism. Another important function of the hypodermis is to maintain body temperature. The responsible surgeon will first commit to safely restoring the injury tissue. If it's simple, this can be performed with a microsurgery or tissue exp expansion with the grafts. If the lesion have high complexity, will be used skin flaps to close or in the last case, if the adjacent area are compromised, uh, the flaps from distance location are used. Skin grafting is the precision that, that reposition a portion of the skin take from a healthy area to a region of the body that has been injured. The most common situation that leads to skin grafting area is accidents, surgical wounds, removal of tumors and deep burns. Grafter. Grafters are less used in the treatment of deeper wounds which have exposed bones or noble structure. In this case, patches are the, are the solutions. The terms grafting and skin transplantation can be used for the surgical procedure which basically has the purpose of transporting the skin from the donor area to receiving area. The grafts are classified according to their histology and thickness. Autograft is taken from the individual for temporary coverage or permanent repair. It is usually removed and immediately applied to the receiving area but it can be preserved for up to two months month, when properly preserved in saline solution. Homographs, the grafts is taken from another individual of the same species, a donor corpse in this case. Xenografts consists in the grafts taken from another animal species, such as pea, frogs, and tilapia. Grafts have different thickness. It can be partial thickness, those that include the epidermis and only a part of the dermis and full thickness, which include the epidermis and whole dermis. The healing process has three phases of integration. First, plasma imbibition phase, which occurred within the first 48 hours, uh, with the formation of a fiber mesh that promotes fixation and nutrition of the mesh. Second, the inosculatory phase, which integrates the formation of small capillaries that anastomose connecting the graft to the recipient bed. 
This recapitalization promotes vascularization and begins in the edema elimination and the last one, the neovascularization phase, which occurs on the seventh day with the proliferation of new vessels, restoring the blood flow to the normal level and stop in the edema. Here we can visualize a simple skin graft uh, to cover a wound in the dorsal range of the foot and after six months the transplantation in this case. In this photo we can see the volume gain with the curvilinear aspects of the gluteal region after performing a fat graft during the surgery. The complication with this procedure is lack of graft integration hematomas, infection, seroma, hyperpigmentation, and graft contraction. It is important to reinforce that in this case, the physiotherapist should not mobilize the graft area. So, minimal movements that we made uh, can hurt the small vessels that are forming and determine the loss of the vascularization and graft necrosis, the total loss of the surgery performance. So, in this case, uh, we can use other resources as LED, laser, microcurrents, kinesiotape, carboxy therapy. Uh, can help to help to control the initial inflammation, reestablish the electrical potential of the cells, promote the oxygenation, and also stabilize the graft. Flaps are skin and subcutaneous tissue transferred from one part of the body to another maintaining the vascular link called the pedicle. The viability of the flap, its survival, will depend on the pedicle. There cannot be any compression on the vascular pedicle because if it is occurs necrosis partial or total flap will be the consequence, with the catastrophic results for the patient. Classification can be accorded the blood supply, being randomized without the defined pedicle, receive blood flow, from the mucotanous arterias, which send brains to form the subdermal and dermal plexus. And actual, with the fine pedicle, receive blood flow of the subcutaneous and direct to cutaneous arterias. It can be according to the flap location and position. Location, when the skin flaps are adjacent to the defect, generally keeping the skin characters to be rebuilt which rotate on their own axis in rotation, in transposition, in interpolation, and in the advance. They move direct to another defect, no rotational or lateral movements. This procedure also has face during the healing process. First, the aspect liquid plasma that forms in the receiving area is absorbed by the flap, forming a fiber mesh, which serves for a fragile fixation and soaking nutrition. Without circulation, the flap becomes swollen. Then small capillaries appear in the fibrin layer, forming meshes that communicate the two surfaces. This is this happens between 24 and 48 hours after surgery. Promote flap adhesion and then start soon after the surgery trauma. The reestablishment of the blood flow is around the fourth and fifth day due to the penetration of the new capillary. Complications related to skin flaps are similar to undesirable effects of the other procedure. Include hematoma, seroma, skin suture dehiscence, surgical, infection, and wound necrosis. In this case, the physiotherapist needs to take care of the survival of the skin flap. The technology that is already seated in the, in the other procedure uh, can help to promote better results. The activity of this class is to look for an article that brings some methodology of skin grafts or skin flap treatment and also to provide a summary briefly explaining the treatment form and action mechanism. I wanted to thank you again and I hope that you understand 
a little bit of my knowledge about this and if you guys have some doubt you can send me an email or a dm that i will send back our answer okay so bye bye thank you